Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video we are going to be making this little candy corn and I decided to make him keychain size. We will be using a number four yarn and a 4.25 millimeter hook. And if you want to make a larger one in the plus yarn, I have also tested him out in a number six yarn and a uh, whoops, 5.5 millimeter hook. This is a crochet along, so I will be doing every stitch with you. And I am also providing a drop down at the top of the screen for the first 30 seconds of every row for you to follow along. And if you enjoy my videos, please hit the subscribe button. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. Um, okay, I think that's everything. So grab your yarn and let's get started. Now you can start any way you want, magic ring, chaining two, um, whichever you prefer, as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. And what I like to do is I fold my yarn in half, I wrap it around my finger to make a knot with a loop on the end as if I was going to chain, and then I leave my loop about the same size to fit whatever amount of stitches I am putting in. This one will be eight single crochets. So just a little bit bigger than my hook. And then I grab my yarn and I chain one. And that does not count as a stitch. That just attaches your yarn to your loop. Now for row one, you are gonna do eight single crochets into the loop and make sure you are going over your tail. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then you'll pull your tail and close up that little hole. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, you are going to do one single crochet, one increase, and you're going to repeat that sequence all the way around for a total of 12. So one single crochet, and then an increase for two and three stitches and then just repeat that around so next single crochet will be four increase five and six seven in the next stitch eight and nine for your increase in the next stitch ten and your increase, 11 and 12. Rows three and four is just gonna be 12 single crochets all the way around, and I'm gonna do that consecutively. So two rows of 12 is 24, and I'm just gonna flip my marker when I hit my first set of 12, and when we get um, to 24, we're not gonna finish that last stitch because we're gonna change color. All right, so 24 stitches, one, two, whoops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12. So that was our first row. I'm going to flip my marker and keep on counting for our second row. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and then we're on our 24 stitch. We're going to go in and grab our yarn and not finish that stitch because we're going to join our colors right here. So grab your next color and you're just going to tie that on nice and close right where your hook and your yarn meet. And I like to do mine a couple of times, at least three. You can do your color changes however you prefer. If you have a better way, do your way. And then you just cut off your white or whatever color you used for the peak. And you're just going to take that new color and pull it through to finish off the last single crochet of the previous row. For row five, you're going to do two single crochets and then an increase and repeat that all the way around for a total of 16. So in your first, so we're going to do one single crochet for one, a second single crochet for two, and then your increase for three and four. And then just repeat that around. So five, six, and your increase, seven and eight. Repeat that again, nine, 10 and your increase 11 and 12. Repeat again 13, 14 and your increase 15 and 16. For rows six and seven, we're just going to do 16 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to do those consecutively again. So two rows of 16 is 32. And I'll just flip my marker when I hit, whoopsie, my first row of 16. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Whoopsie, 15, 16. Flip your marker if you're using one. And keep on counting. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 
31 and 32. I think we're changing color here. So we're not gonna finish that stitch. We're gonna grab our next color and tie that on. So I'm just tied a couple of times or however you like to do your color changes. Snip your orange. And then just like before, pull that color through to finish off that last stitch of that last row you just did. And for row eight, we are going to do one, two, three single crochets and then an increase and then repeat that all the way around for a total of 20. So single crochet, one, two, three, increase, four and five. And just repeat that around six, seven, eight, and an increase, nine and 10. 11, 12, 13, and your increase, 14 and 15. 16, 17, 18, and your increase, 19 and 20. Row nine, you're just gonna do 20 single crochets all the way around. Make sure you start it in the right stitches here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 19 and 20. Row 10, you are gonna do four single crochets and then an increase and repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, three, four, and an increase, five and six. Repeat that again. Seven, eight, nine, 10, and an increase, 11 and 12. Again, 13, 14, 15, 16, and an increase, 17 and 18. Again, 19, 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. Row 11, we are just going to do 24 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. We might as well put our eyes in right now, and we are just going to put them between the first two rows of where I have the yellow here, and we're going to put them about three holes apart. So find your front, doesn't really matter where. Put your first one in, and then you're going to go one, two, three, and then into that next hole. And you can use any size eyes you want. I decided the 10 millimeter looked the nicest for this size. And I like the 14 millimeters for the plush size. Now we're going to grab a little scrap of pink for the cheeks or whatever color you want. Whoops. And for the little one, I am starting my cheeks just in this hole, just under the eye. And then for my larger one, I went down one stitch. So from the inside, I'm going to come up just under the eye. Leave a little bit left for tying. And then go over one. And then come back in that same hole that you started. And of course, you can put your cheeks anywhere you want. Um, and then you're going to go over and do opposite. So instead of going under the eye, we're going to go one stitch over. and then down just under the eye. Or however you're doing your cheeks. They could go up and down this way if you want. That's cute sometimes. And so I did that twice. And then I'm just gonna tie them in the back. Leave a little bit of slack here for when you stuff it so you're not pulling on your cheeks. I could add a little bit more slack in there, but. So when you stuff it, it'll kind of sit against here instead of pulling your cheeks tight. And then you can cut that off. And then I'm gonna grab some black for the mouth. And I'm just gonna go over for the little one, one stitch over on each side from where the cheeks started. And when I did the big plush one, I went down a row and the same thing I'm doing on this one. And you're gonna go up, so you're one stitch over. Then you're gonna go down a stitch. Kind of in, we're coming, where are we coming up? We're going to come up here for the other side. So you want to be kind of in the center somewhere. Then on the other side, you're one stitch over from the cheek. And then back in that same stitch at the point of your mouth. Then you made a little V and then you'll tie that off. 
kind of on the looser side so you're not pulling your mouth stitches. So I go very loose and then I tighten up a little bit on my second tie. And then on my third tie, I go fairly tight unless this knot is moving down and then you want to do another tie. And then we'll cut that off. Okay, I'm going to quickly give you two options for the next row. Because I was making this one as a keychain, I wanted to have him to have like a nice round bottom. But when I did the larger one, I wanted him to sit flatter. So I went into um, the back loop so he'd have a line. And I'm a big fan of the back loops when it's sitting down if you do any of my other videos. So if you want it to fit flat like um, the little rock, that rock guy or the little um, bug or alien so it'll be nice and flat like this on the bottom you'll go in the back loops oh, I don't know where these were and if you want it to be rounded for a keychain you're just going to keep on continuing as you were before and now we will continue on the bottom so remember if you want it as a keychain and you want it to be smooth on the sides you're going to go in the um under both sides of that v like we were before and if you want to go make him have a flat bottom you're going to go down into the v and out the back and do back loops on this row so for row 18 or not 18 for row 12 we're going to do one two single crochets then we're going to do a decrease for a total of 18. so one two and your decrease for three and just continue that all the way around four five and your decrease for six seven eight and your decrease for nine ten eleven and your decrease for twelve thirteen fourteen and your decrease for 15, 16, 17, and your decrease for 18. I'm going to add a little bit of stuffing now. Make sure you get it up in the point. The more you stuff it, the harder the next row is going to be. So I'm just going to stuff it that much and then stuff more as I go. So for row 13, we're going to do one single crochet, one decrease, and we're going to repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one and a decrease for two, three, and a decrease for four, five, and whoops, I got some stuffing there. A decrease for six, seven, and a decrease for eight, nine. And a decrease for 10, 11, and a decrease for 12. Add a little more stuffing if you need to. And when I did mine, I kind of pushed mine out at the sides. So he's a little more wide then round and 
and this is going to be our last row. So if you need more stuffing and you can't stuff it when it's at six, um, get all your stuffing in now. And for row 14, we're going to do six decreases. One. Two. Three. Four, five, and six. And then we're just going to slip stitch in the next stitch and tie that off. And you'll just give that a cut. Add whatever stuffing you need to. Remember, if you did the back loops, you're going to want that to be flat. I'm going to add a little bit more stuffing, I think. Um, let me think. What's left? Oh, I'm just closing it up. All right, um, get rid of your stitch marker if you used one like I did. And then you're just going to go around your last set of stitches. All the way around, weaving in and out. And then pull that closed. Be very careful if you're using the plush yarn because some of it does break easy. And then you're just going to tie a knot on the next loop. And you can just put that inside. Um, when I do mine, I go all the way up the top um, just because I don't have a lot of keychain supplies. So, unless I want to actually put a keychain on it right now, I just leave it like this. You can tie it like that. You can make a little braid. You could make a chain up here if you left enough of a tail. And there you've got your little candy corns. And they're so cute. Um, I guess if you like this video, make sure you um, hit the subscribe button. Um, and hopefully I see you in more of my videos. And we can crochet along together. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Be safe. And happy crocheting.